Hello there, it's me, Rama, and I'd like to introduce to you today the GamePad UMG plugin. I want to tell you straight up and very clearly, I did not write the code for this plugin. This code was created by Nick Darnell of Epic. He's an Epic developer who wrote a huge portion of UMG, most of it actually, and he actually provided this code. I'm simply using it. That's me dropping my gamepad. So, I want to show how this works. Basically, you can go in game, and I launch UMG. So notice now, I can't turn the screen with the mouse anymore. But, I'm using the gamepad now, and I'm actually moving the cursor as if it was a mouse cursor. I can switch any time and use an actual mouse cursor, but then I can switch and use the gamepad. Look at how fluid and flowing that is. Pretty neat, huh? That's all thanks to Nick. Now, this, uh, let's see if I can get this guy to give me some darker background here. So, this is a mouse cursor like motion controlled by the gamepad analog stick. And the down button, the A button, or the down face button, if you're used to U UE4 terminology, that actually is what clicks buttons over here. So, you see how it says song? Here it says dance. So, this says, thanks, Nick, <laughs> right? And uh, and while I'm in this special mode, the mouse cursor, of course, is being, the, the look input to the character is being ignored. But if I close this, I can go right back to controlling the character again and looking around normally with the mouse. Again, if I restart level, I can enter this mode where I'm looking at, let me get my thing over here, where I'm looking at the cursor again. Now this thing where it highlights, this is something Nick set up. You just have to have something that has interactable set to true in UMG, and then this cursor will highlight. That's a custom cursor widget. Now the other really neat feature of this system, again created by Nick, is that if you go to project settings, there's a section here called Gamepad Cursor Settings, and Nick provided all sorts of lovely features here, including in this editable graph where you can control the, the acceleration curve of the analog stick. There's all these settings you can play with, and uh, to initialize the entire process of using this cursor in your project, all you really need to do is make a widget, and these are just regular buttons, and then in here, really all you need to do is just this one thing here. Enable Virtual Cursor. This is part of the blueprint library for this plugin. This is really all you have to do. And then here I'm making it visible and ignoring look input. And then when you're done, you just call a function to uh, disable the virtual cursor here. That's really all you need to do. The rest is automatic, done for you by Nick, and I've wrapped it into a plugin for your enjoyment. Again, the plugin, go under Rama, and you see Gamepad UMG cursor over here. Uh, I just love this thing. I'm <laughs> going back to it. I just think this is so cool to have these settings here. I just really like that. And uh, now, everyone can make a game in UE4 where you can use a cursor. You, uh, you can use a gamepad like it's a mouse. Click on stuff and make any kind of UI system you want. Again, the custom cursor, the way, it, the way it highlights like that, that's a custom cursor. If you go over to uh, Blueprint, actually it's under UMG, see this happy cursor? This is, again, straight from Nick Darnell, this whole system. These two images, playing these animations, it's just a custom cursor, it's all in UMG. The only thing you need to do is to remember to go to Project Settings and go down to User Interface and choose Happy Cursor as your default cursor. And then it will work. Enjoy!